not going to know about Rotary. Unfortunately, we're the best kept secret in town. Even in Malibu, they do know you. I know that your your Halloween party, which is coming up, it funds a lot of projects for you. And I don't remember what they are, but I know that Carly will will inform me at the board meeting. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> But I think what's important is communication among your club members and communication out to the outside world. Um, you're now the surf rider. I don't know if you're still doing it, John. Mm -hmm. No? I retired. You retired? Yeah, yeah I, I just couldn't do it anymore. Well, you did a beautiful job. And maybe you might be having someone younger, like a Rotaractor, do a one-pager on what Rotary is, what Malibu Rotary is doing, and put it out there. You have a Facebook page. I know that. It needs to be fresh. Well, John has redone part of our club runner. Perfect. Page, and it looks really good. Well, that's what that's what you need to do. Communication, social media, it's one way to get out there. But one thing I'm going to ask this club to do is partner up with another club. And hopefully Malibu, uh, Woodland Hills can take you under their wing, or Calabasas. Come and do a project with them. They've been, um, Calabasas has got a wonderful Thanksgiving program that you could all go and do and help serve the seniors. It's done on Thanksgiving Day. But it is one of the most rewarding. They serve about eight or 900 people on that day. I think your club members need to go out and get involved and actually do a, a, a service like that. And the Rotaractors would be so welcomed. I wish you'd get involved with that, too. That's on Thanksgiving Day, that which would be the last Thursday in November. Good guess. If they're here. Pardon me? If they're here. Yes, if they're here, of course. <laughs> That's what they love. Pepper they're not going to leave. <laughs> I love she's sitting there with the computer. Um, so I think you guys have to start remembering to do the most important thing is keep your members. So when you get two new members like you did today, Octavio and Marlene, you need a job. So we're going to find you a job to do in Rotary. It keeps you engaged. It keeps you going. Because if you don't have a job, you don't have purpose, you forget why we're here. We are here because we are Rotarians in the heart. We're not members of Rotary. We're a, member of, we're a member of a huge family. That's what I consider Rotary. Margo is part of my family, and she can pick up the phone, and she has. We'll get you an auctioneer. <laughs> Good. Uh, no, but it, it, Rotary is you can go any place in the world. Octavio and Marlene, that's one thing that's amazing about Rotary, is that you have friends in every corner of the world. You were over in Italy just recently, and you looked up, you saw the Rotary sign, and you knew that you had friends there. It's, it is wonderful. Bianca, Peru, you did an amazing job down there, too. So what you do in Rotary is why you're in Rotary. It's service above self. Don't forget that. Um, so one way to keep people interested, one, page, one way to get new members is do a project. Do a hands-on project. Boots on the ground, hands in the dirt. That's my motto. Um, and one thing, I don't know if you've done it, but you might invite Kathleen Terry. She's coming in a few weeks. She's an amazing program, and she will help you take a look at your club and do a health check. Um, because we need, to, we need to not make the program quite so stale. And not yours, but all of her. I'm just saying across the board. It's pretty much go and have lunch and forget why we're here. So you've got to ask your club members why they're still Rotarians. It's because of the feeling you get here. But let's see what we can do to make it a little different and a little more appetizing. Are you a lunch club normally? You know, yes. Are you are now. Well, thank you for the morning. I wouldn't have been able to pick it up so early to come out here. <laughs> thank you a lot. Um, one other thing is I think that what we do sometimes forget is why you are a Rotarian. Your stories. The stuff that has happened to you on a trip or when you've handed a kid a pair of shoes or vision to learn when you put a new pair of glasses on a little child. And they, I'll never forget we put glasses on a little girl down in Bellflower. And she went over to a tree. And she looked at it. She said, were they always here? The no. leaves. Oh She'd only gosh. seen green. You know, just a mass of green. So that program, if you're not, are you familiar with Vision to Learn? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you are involved. Yeah. Okay. That's another hands-on project that is amazing across the district you can get involved in. There's a couple other things. I know you're out in Malibu. It's a long way away. But we have uh, the food bank, October 15th, where we're gonna, all our is going to get together. We're going to do it four times this year. So if you're available on the district website, you can find out about that. Um, the other thing that we have coming up, of course, is our uh, foundation dinner. It's on October 27th. 
a Sunday afternoon at the Taglian Center in Hollywood. I know that if you went to, did you go to breakfast? Yes. Did you get the foundation tickets? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we'll pass those out and you guys will be able to enter the foundation. Uh, your money's in, his money's back to you in three years. And so you've qualified for a district grant. I happen to know that. And so your club is a small club, but matching grant is where the money that you put in three years before comes back. So each club in the district will get $2,000 to do whatever they want to in their own backyard. So I hope that you're coming up with a good project for that. Um, the other thing is this year we have three, well, one major uh, humanitarian trip, which is the reverse global grant we've never done before. And it's called Navajo Water Project. There are too many people in this U.S. that do not have access to clean water. It's hard to believe. But they're right in our backyard, Arizona. We're going to be doing partnering with a company called Dig Deep, and we're putting in clean water tanks for homes. We identified 308 homes in Arizona and Delcon, and we're doing with 10 districts in five countries right now. We're going to do a major grant to house it put as much clean water into each uh, location as we can. Uh, we will be taking a trip there for the clubs that do participate. Um, small trips because these are very remote locations. And these Indian, the Native Americans, I'm sorry, Native Americans are very private. It's very hard to get into their locations, but we're gonna do good, give them clean running water, electricity, uh, provide them heated water. I was out there in a couple, few months ago and there was a little girl there, and I heard her ask her mom, but they never had clean wa running water. They had, they give them tanks, just like they do, mm -hmm. pull it in. And I heard her say, Mom, would you wash my hair tonight with warm water? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the kid was eight or, eight or nine years old, and I went, wow. Now the little boy said, well, now I can do my homework at home, because they have a solar light. So we're gonna make a difference in our own backyard. That's what's important. We're also gonna go to Oaxaca. Uh, if anybody had an opportunity mm -hmm. to sign up, uh, we're going the last week of February. <coughs> For those that were lucky enough to get on the list, congratulations. Uh, if somebody still wants to go, please contact Tori and you can be put on a waiting list. And finally, uh, Angel City Celebration will be this year. We provide Christmas to 4,000 uh, children and uh, adults. LA5 is a driving force on this. Thank you, Rick. Mm -hmm. It's in Jesse Owens Park this year. It is the 10th anniversary and we're, where we were, will serve over 4,000. And the most wonderful thing about this is it's free medical. They have like eight medical coaches for everything. You can have everything done for the adults. And then for the children, we have a, a breakfast and give away toys. So if you'd like to volunteer then, that's on the district website, and that is December 7th. Oh, I get an award for keeping all these numbers in my head. <laughs> um, I just want to say that uh, it, to be here in Malibu today is kind of really weird because, I, like I said, I did get my start here. And I so got involved with Malibu Rotary, the chili cook-off. Remember, you used to do that, uh, the Christmas party always. But the, always the good that the Rotarians did here. I remember when we had our houses at our land in 93, the first big fire. And I think there were 15 members of this, how many members of this club? Five lost their homes. The Yorks, I know them that whole, one whole. So you've been together as a family, you've gone through crises. Again, you've had one last year. Remember that Rotary is family, and it's good for everybody. I want to thank you for listening to me. I want to thank you for giving me my start in Rotary, because if it wasn't for you all, I would not be standing here today, and I can guarantee you that. So thank you very much. Thank you. Wait, no, wait, I have something too. <laughs> I'm the fun person, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> well, usually. Seven o'clock is a little early. <laughs> I bring up that fun meter. But um, I am giving out, uh, where I go this year, I'm giving out these wonderful little things called my fun meter certificate of most fun in the club. I could do oldest, but then <laughs> that gets old for the past. <laughs> so, I have to wait for somebody to die to have somebody new old get in, so it's really kind of bad. But I have most fun. Would you like to come on up? <laughs> 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 you would be most
also fun for me to try to say your name, but congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the official fun meter. Oh, wonderful. What are my responsibilities? To spread fun? That sounds like it. Actually, I'm I'm video recording this, so so so. <laughs> and and. And then. Oh, that's okay. And then I have a certificate for two of you for sponsoring the most members. So since you both had one up here today, <laughs> come on up, please. <laughs> that's Carly and Margo. <laughs> Sure. 